Nuburu Inc. is currently trading at $0.48, up 2.88% on the day. Now, a nearly 3% pop in a sub-dollar stock might seem like just another flicker of noise in the volatile world of microcaps, the kind of move that most traders using the Robinhood app would scroll right past. But what if this small green candle is subtly connected to a much larger industrial shift happening in sectors dominated by giants like Tesla stock? The immediate reaction is to see this as speculative froth, but the underlying story here is about a technological capability that could solve one of the biggest manufacturing headaches in the electric vehicle and electronics industries. The expectation for a stock like Nuburu is binary. Either it's a zero or it's a hero. It's a bet on a fascinating piece of tech that might one day become indispensable. That's the simple narrative. The reality, however, is far more granular and, frankly, more compelling. It's not about the distant promise of the technology. It's about the tangible, strategic groundwork being laid right now to wedge its way into supply chains, a process that is slow, arduous, and almost entirely invisible to the average retail investor looking at a simple stock chart on their SoFi Invest account. The common belief about Nuburu is that it's a pure technology play. You're betting on the superiority of its industrial blue laser technology. The company itself promotes its ability to weld highly reflective metals like copper and aluminum with unprecedented speed and quality, something traditional infrared lasers struggle with. This is especially critical for manufacturing EV battery packs, power electronics, and even the intricate circuitry inside the latest smartphones. The market narrative, therefore, frames Nuburu as a potential key supplier to the biggest industrial names in the world. When you hear about companies like Apple stock pushing the boundaries of device manufacturing, the assumption is that they need enabling technologies like this. So investors buy a few shares through their individual brokerage account, perhaps on a platform like Interactive Brokers, and hope for that one big contract announcement that sends the stock soaring. It's a waiting game, a bet on a future event. But this perspective misses the real, active battlefield. The deeper reality is that Nuburu's success doesn't hinge on one single contract. It depends on a methodical, industry-by-industry -industry campaign to prove its economic value proposition. The recent trading activity, while modest, reflects the ongoing tug-of-war between its high cash burn rate and the incremental progress it's making. Looking at the daily volume, we see it's hovering around its average. There isn't a massive speculative rush, which suggests today's move might be driven by more informed, smaller-scale buying rather than a retail frenzy. This isn't the kind of stock that a conservative Fidelity Wealth Management Advisor would recommend, nor is it likely to be found in mainstream Fidelity ETFs. It's a specialist play. For investors managing their own portfolios, maybe through self-investing on platforms offering online investment tools, the key is to look beyond the price and into the operational details. We have to examine the company's presentations, listen to their earnings calls, and track mentions of blue laser adoption in manufacturing trade journals. This is where the real signals are. For instance, a recent presentation highlighted a 10x increase in welding speed for copper hairpins in electric motors. That's not a futuristic promise. It's a hard metric that an automotive engineer can plug into a cost-benefit analysis. This is the reality that chips away at the wall of industrial inertia. Let's dissect the company itself for a moment. Nuburu, at its core, designs and manufactures high-power blue lasers. Unlike the ubiquitous infrared lasers that have dominated industrial applications for decades, blue light has a much higher absorption rate in materials like copper and gold.
This means less spatter, stronger welds, and faster production times, which are critical for applications where conductivity and reliability are non-negotiable, like in EV batteries. Their business model involves selling the laser systems directly to manufacturers and system integrators. The expectation is that this is a high-margin hardware business. The reality is that it also involves a significant service and integration component. Getting these advanced systems to work seamlessly on a factory floor is a complex process. Past financial reports show a company in a state of deep investment. Revenue has been lumpy, highly dependent on a few key customer orders, and operating expenses are substantial due to ongoing research, development, and sales efforts. The cash burn is the single biggest risk factor that keeps institutional investors, including many who manage Fidelity Mutual Funds, on the sidelines. They need to see a clear path to sustainable, positive cash flow before they can commit significant capital. This is why tracking their cash position and any potential financing activities is absolutely crucial for anyone holding shares. The stock's movement is also tethered to the broader macroeconomic environment. When industrial production forecasts are strong and capital expenditure cycles are on the upswing, a company like Nuburu benefits from the tailwind. Conversely, in a high interest rate environment where manufacturers are cutting back on new equipment purchases, the sales cycle for Nuburu's expensive systems can stretch out, putting immense pressure on its finances. We see this dynamic play out across the industrial sector, affecting even the largest players. The challenge for Nuburu is to convince a CFO to approve a multi-million dollar capital outlay on a new technology when their existing, albeit less efficient, systems are already fully depreciated. This is the central conflict. The engineering department might be in love with the technology, but the finance department has to justify the expense. This is why pilot programs and smaller-scale initial orders are so important. They are the seeds from which larger, factory-wide deployments can grow. Monitoring news for any such design wins is a far more predictive indicator of future success than the daily stock price fluctuation on a SoFi trading platform. Now, thinking about the future, we have to map out the potential scenarios. The bull case, the one that excites investors on Robinhood stock trading, is clear. Nuburu secures a large-scale deployment agreement with a major automaker or a top-tier battery manufacturer. This would not only provide a massive revenue boost, but more importantly, would serve as a powerful validation of its technology, triggering a domino effect as other manufacturers rush to adopt it to stay competitive. In this scenario, the company achieves profitability, the cash burn issue is resolved, and the stock price reflects its new status as a key enabling technology provider. Investors who got in early via investing sites would be handsomely rewarded. However, the bear case is equally plausible and must be respected. The primary risk is competition. While Nuburu has a head start in high-power blue lasers, established industrial laser giants are not standing still. They have immense resources, deep customer relationships, and the ability to eventually develop competing solutions. Another significant risk is the pace of adoption. Industrial customers are notoriously conservative. They prioritize reliability and proven performance over novelty. If Nuburu fails to convert its technical superiority into a clear and compelling return on investment for its customers, it could find itself stuck in a perpetual cycle of pilot projects that never scale to full production. It's a brutal reality of the hardware business. This is why having sound investment help and doing your own thorough research is so critical when dealing with these speculative technology stocks. An intelligent portfolio service, like Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, is structured specifically to avoid this kind of single-stock risk by diversifying across hundreds or thousands of securities.
given the critical role of copper welding in EV batteries and electronics, comment below what you believe is the biggest hurdle for Nubaru in convincing a major automaker to switch to their blue laser technology. Is it cost, reliability, or simply industrial inertia? In the end, we come back to where we started, a small price move on a single day. The expectation is that this is just random noise. The reality we've explored is that it's a tiny data point in a much larger, high-stakes narrative. The story of Nuburu isn't just about a stock price bouncing between 40 and 50 cents. It's about a foundational battle being fought on factory floors and in corporate boardrooms over the future of advanced manufacturing. The simple narrative focuses on the dream of a technological breakthrough. The more complex and ultimately more